In a general sense, the greatest threat to biodiversity is extinction. Extinction is a natural event and geologically has been happening for a very long time. The historical extinction rate over the last 200 million years is estimated at one to two species per year and three to four families per million years. If we compare this to the estimated current rate of extinction, we see that the current rate is much, much higher than the historical, even 1,000 to 10,000 times higher. Estimates of the current extinction rate place it at 200 to 2,000 species per year, or in some cases, even dozens of species each day. Our current extinction rate has led to now being known as the sixth mass extinction, which is the greatest die-off of species since the dinosaurs died off 65 million years ago. Evidence shows that the current extinction rate is caused by humans, habitat loss, exotic species introduction, and climate change. Let's look at some of the major biodiversity threats and causes of extinction. Our first biodiversity threat is overhunting. This is where a species is hunted at an unsustainable rate, which can eventually lead to extinction. One historical example of an extinction that was caused by overhunting is that of the passenger pigeon. At one point, the passenger pigeon represented the most numerous bird species in North America, even to the point that it was estimated that one out of every four birds in North America was a passenger pigeon. During the late 19th century, passenger pigeons began to be used as a cheap food, and their overhunting eventually led to their extinction in the early 20th century. Habitat loss, degradation, and fragmentation is the next major threat to biodiversity and cause of extinction. All species have food and habitat needs, and the more specialized those are, the more vulnerable that species is to this type of threat. are converted to be used for agriculture, livestock, roads, and cities. It's important to note that tropical forests are believed to represent 50% of the world's biodiversity. This type of habitat loss generally affects larger species the most, which have a larger range in order for them to survive. Chunks of land are broken apart and used for various uses. In some cases, the habitat of the species is unaltered or is protected. But this also causes problems for the species in question because these fragmented pieces of land can only support small, isolated populations. This also leads to increased edge effects and other factors that make these areas more vulnerable. One example of a species that's gone extinct because of habitat loss is the Tacopa pupfish. This is a heat-tolerant fish that could live in water up to 108 degrees Fahrenheit. This species was endemic, which means to be restricted to a certain area, in two hot springs in the Mojave Desert in California. were mixed for economic reasons. This led to chemical and temperature changes to the habitat of the Tacopa pupfish, which eventually led to its extinction and a cause of extinction is the invasion of non-native species. A non-native species is defined as any species that's living outside of its native distributional range that has arrived there by human activity, whether deliberate or accidental. Non-native species have played a role in the extinction of over 50% of all of the documented extinctions since 1600. disrupt the ecosystem where they're introduced. They often disrupt the food webs found in that ecosystem and can lead to the extinction of species. Non-native species is the zebra mussel, which were transported from Eurasia to the Great Lakes of the United States in shipped ballast water. ...throughout the United States and have outcompeted native species for food and habitat and are currently threatening a number of various species types. ...a direct cause of extinction, but rather is a contributor. Only in very small range species is pollution a likely cause of extinction. 
biodiversity loss and extinction are ocean litter, pesticides, fertilizers, and air pollution. The final threat to biodiversity and cause of extinction that we'll discuss is climate change. In them. And rapid rather than slow climate change leads to increased extinction rates because many plants cannot migrate quick enough. Ecosystems and species. Since these parks and reserves are fixed locations, as the climate begins to change, the ecosystems and the species that the parks were designed to protect are shifted or pushed to other areas. One example is Yellowstone National Park. It's likely that the current climate found here will shift several hundred miles north, and many of the species that are found in Yellowstone will not survive in these unprotected areas.